Dragway in Baton Rouge. Let's meet the drivers in Funny Car. This, of course, Paul Smith, the number one qualifier. Kenny Bernstein. Bernstein now living in Dallas, Texas. Ron Colson, one of the premier funny car racers in all the country, drives for Roland Leong. This is Dale Armstrong. Quite a story here. He moved up from pro cop racing. Billy Meyer, young man from Waco, Texas. Henry Harrison drives a car called the L.A. Hooker. Henry, one of the journeyman funny car racers throughout the country. Trip Shoemake, driver for Johnny Loper. And this is Tom Hoover, the driver of the Showtime Corvette. We met all the drivers in the first round of racing. Here's the first car we'll be seeing in competition. This is Billy Meyer. He's sitting encased in the roll cage of the chassis. The body, the fiberglass body, is raised to allow the crewman in to start the engine. He uses an electric starter motor that spins over both the supercharger and the engine until it comes to life, the nitromethane fuel coursing through the fuel injector and the supercharged system. As the crewman gets ready to lower the body, Billy now beginning to concentrate on what he has to do. The first procedure is to get the body locked down, then he pulls forward into a puddle of water. This is the burnout area. All cars in competition in championship drag racing do burnouts designed to heat up the tires. The rubber compound used in these very wide slicks is designed to operate at the highest possible temperatures. So the only way you can get them hot on a race car is to actually burn them. And here you see the clouds of smoke coming off the burning rubber of those 17 inch wide slicks. Billy Meyer's competitor in round number one of racing is Henry Harrison at the wheel of the LA Hooker. The Corvette bodied car out of the Los Angeles area. Billy Hayden from Waco, Texas. Billy finished fourth in the world in 1979 making a hard run for that world championship title that will culminate out of the world finals in Ontario, California in October. The burnouts for both cars completed, the drivers inching their way up to the starting line. 2,000 horsepower at the beck and call of each of the racers. Henry Harrison out in front of Billy Meyer, he's extending his lead, and something's going wrong, and Billy from behind wins it. Billy Meyer, 6.51 seconds. 227 miles an hour and he fell way behind right at the start as we watch again you see Henry Harrison in the far lane Billy beginning to lose traction he drops way back Henry extending his lead then all of a sudden something may be going wrong with Henry Harrison's car some smoke from Billy Meyer but he's the winner so even the trouble plagued races are close uh, in the 650s both cars what happened Billy we couldn't see from here I, it started sprinkling up on the start line, I think. The wind has got a little water on it and stuff. And this, I changed motors last night, as you know, and this one was just a little too stout. And it smoked the tires about 50 feet out. And had a little trouble getting it hooked back up. Well, when I did, I guess he had trouble, too, and I drove by him. Well, you were both having an uh, equal amount of trouble, I guess. But against a guy like Henry Harrison, he'll never lift. No, that's true. And it, I've always found that, you know, pays to pedal it and get it hooked up and then get going. By pedal it, you mean? By lift one time and then get back in the throttle. And it, the tires should be hooked up by then. If not, you're way behind anyway. So. Dale Armstrong, the driver of the Speed Racer car, moved up out of Pro Comp Eliminator. He had practically dominated that category in driving all types of cars, from alterns to alcohol-burning funny cars to dragsters, but this his first shot at the championship circuit at the wheel of a nitro-burning funny car, and he qualified in his very, very tight show. This is Ron Colson. He's the driver of Roland Leong's Hawaiian. Both drivers setting themselves for the start. Side by side, they are at the middle of the course, and then Ron Colson pulls it out in the last few hundred feet. He just drives away from Dale Armstrong. 6.13 seconds his elapsed time. His speed over 242 miles an hour and a tremendous charge out of Roland Leong's car with Ron Colson at the wheel. You see the move right here. Look at him pull away from Dale Armstrong. Ron Colson, the winner in round number two of Funny Car Racing. A disappointed Dale Armstrong heads back to offer his congratulations to Ron Colson. As Colson moves on in the single elimination bracket that is championship drag racing. 
This below qualifier, Paul Smith. The car is entitled The Sting. Alongside of Paul is Kenny Bernstein. Again, we look at the Christmas tree as it is seen from the point of view of the driver. In fact, Paul Smith would be looking at the Christmas tree just about the way you see it here. Staging lights are lit. The tree goes green. And Kenny Bernstein smokes the tires off the starting line. He backs out of it. Paul Smith very close to the center line. But an easy run, a fine 6.16 second, 234 miles an hour. And Kenny Bernstein just coasts it through. It was at the first major race this season. He lost control of the car right off the starting line at the Winter Nationals and hit the guardrail. Here he was much more fortunate, able to lift off the throttle, bring the car under control, and Paul Smith very close to the center line. Dave, Paul Smith concerned that he might have crossed the center line. You did not. I didn't know. I thought I did. I come close. And I kind of drove her back there. I think it ran pretty good. Anybody here? What yeah, it ran pretty good. This little budget operation just ran 616. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's fixing to get interesting around here. The Hawaiian ran a 13, now you at a 16. Will the track take more power? I think it's limited for today until it gets a little hotter, the track. They smoke the tires in the middle of us right almost across the center line. And now you don't have a trailer full of spare parts. Uh, do you think you heard it? Yeah, she got some pistons. I think I got enough to fix it. If there ain't nothing else wrong, I don't have a spare motor with me. If you ran out of parts, uh, could you borrow them or buy them here? Or? Well, I I think I can borrow a motor from Kenny Bernstein, the one I just beat. He's my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul Smith is going to rely on some sportsmanship from Kenny Bernstein before this is all over. The final pair of cars in the eight-car field that made up the first round of eliminations. Funny car eliminator Trip Shoemaker, the wheel of Johnny Loper's car, while Tom Hoover, the owner-driver of his own operation, the Showtime Corvette. These two men finished sixth and seventh in the world in last season's world championship points chase. Proudly bearing the number six on the side of the car is Tom Hoover. Number seven was Trip Shoemaker. The overflow crowd looking on intently as both drivers concentrating and a slight lead for Trip Shoemaker off the starting line. And he holds on to the finish, a close race. Trip Shoemaker, 6.25 seconds. A losing time, only 6.27 seconds, just two hundredths of a second, separating the two cars at the finish line. Shoemaker held that slight lead throughout the entire quarter mile race. And your winner, Trip Shoemaker. Another day, another dollar. Ow. I love it. I'm loving it. Okay. Do you think Trip is just a little happy? We'll see him in round number two at the Cajun National.